Hello my friends, David here. In this video, I'll be talking about the new update that has just been announced for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Patch 1.4 will be releasing on Friday, April 27th in the afternoon Japan time. The most notable thing about this patch is two brand new rare blades. The first blade is the wildest of them all and the one I am most excited about out of all the post-release blades thus far the Poppy Buster. It is the fourth and new Poppy form that can be used by any driver. Poppy Buster can be obtained if you purchase the expansion pass and can be acquired through a quest line. Seeing as this is the only form of Poppy drivers aside from Tora can equip, I'm really looking forward to how this will change up the already broken end game builds. If this Poppy Buster can be customized with parts in the same way that the other three Poppy forms can, we can expect to see some game breaking builds elevate to the next level. The second blade releasing can be obtained via Core Crystals in New Game Plus and is T. Elos who appeared as Cosmos' rival in the Xenosaga series. This rare blade can be obtained as a free update to everyone who owns the game regardless of whether you purchase the expansion pass or not. The patch notes say that the drop rate from Core Crystals for Telos should be very high so that most people should be able to obtain it quite quickly. If you've watched some of my recent videos, you know that Cosmos is one of the most powerful blades in the game. Telos in the Xenosaga world has power that rivals that of Cosmos, so if Telos can be just a fraction of the strength that Cosmos has, we're in for a real treat. This patch 1.4 update will also be allowing you to exchange bonus experience directly for poppy parts in New Game Plus through the Bard system. I'm not entirely sure how this will work, seeing as we can already exchange bonus experience for Aether Crystals. However, if we can obtain the elusive Master Mods or Light Cores that are normally uncraftable, that would be a huge game changer for obtaining those parts. I know people that are still trying to grind Tiger Tiger in order to obtain Master Mods, and this could be the solution for it. The patch notes also talk about upcoming releases, which also includes an extreme level difficulty for the game, a new challenge battle mode as previous images have teased, in addition to new quests and blades. It's been a while since we got some exciting updates. As a natural build min-maxer, I'm incredibly excited about these two new blades that have the potential to be really powerful. The new quest lines that are associated with them is a cherry on top as well. I'll keep you guys up to date when the new patch is released at the end of the week. Expect to see a new video featuring these new guys and a couple builds associated with them as well. In any case, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.